What's up guys, it's Nicole, also known as Nikki Vegan, and today I'm gonna to show you everything that I eat in a day. This was a particularly delicious day, but nothing, none of the meals, not breakfast, lunch, or dinner took more than 15 minutes. And in fact, breakfast and lunch were particularly speedy and I had leftovers for the next day. Everything was delicious, wholesome, plant-based, and really easy to make. So I'm really excited to show you everything I ate on this day and drink on this day because I had some really great vegan wine. I teamed up with the wonderful wine company to show you these new vegan wines that I use to cook dinner and to serve with dinner and it was such a delicious combo. These wines are made with grapes that are farmed sustainably and since I'm a Psalm, I'm also going to be sharing a fun little weird little hack that kind of changes the game when you're drinking wine at home so make sure you stay tuned for that. All of the info including where you can get your hands on this wine and get free shipping and learn about how it is low sugar and pesticide free and just overall really awesome and delicious then check out the description below but for now let's get started with breakfast. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some breakfast for tomorrow. And to do this, I'm just making overnight oats, which is so easy because it's literally just putting stuff in a bowl and then putting that bowl in the refrigerator and breakfast is done. So it takes five minutes. And what I do, since I'm already making it once, I just make extra and that way it's five minutes today and no minutes for the next three or four days. And I don't have to think about, what do I wanna have for breakfast today? What do I have? What do I feel like making? How much time do I have? None of that. I can just enjoy my coffee. I can read the news. When I get hungry, breakfast is ready for me and it's so easy and so good. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So obviously for overnight oats, we're gonna need some oats and I like using quick cooking organic oats for this. I add some cinnamon and some nutmeg and then I really like to bring out the flavor in oatmeal with some salt. And I stir this all together with some flax seeds. The flax seeds are not only healthy, but they're gonna help to make this really nice and creamy. Then I add some water, maple syrup, soy milk, and the secret ingredient. And I love when I remember to do this the night before because it means that I can have such a chill, relaxed morning knowing that breakfast is ready whenever I'm hungry. And so then all I have to do is have some water and some coffee, I read the news, and then whenever I'm hungry, all I have to do to make breakfast is figure out which topping I want for the day. And on this day, it was a donut peach. If you've never had a donut peach, they are round, flat, white peaches that are so flavorful. They're in season right now, so if you find one, grab one and then I just scooped up some of the thickened oatmeal and you can warm this up if you like or serve it cold and then I kind of Jackson Pollock some peanut butter on top so that I get a tiny little bit of peanut butter in every single bite I think it just makes everything even more delicious that way then I added my peaches banana slices and toasted coconut on top and even though this looks really fancy it took five minutes maybe less than five minutes it was so quick Overnight oats really just give me such peaceful mornings and I love it. Lunch is also so delicious and really fast and something that makes extra so you can have for a couple days and have really easy lunches throughout the week. Now a great way to save time is to skip chopping up garlic and use a garlic infused oil to saute your veggies. It will impart so much garlicky flavor which is so delicious but it saves so much time. Then I add zucchini and zucchini is a great vegetable to have when you're short on time because it's actually better if you don't overcook it. It has a lot of water so it gets mushy if you cook it for too long so it's great for quick recipes like this. Then I added some paprika, cayenne, salt and pepper and added a can of chickpeas and a can of tomatoes and let that simmer for a few minutes. Then I toasted some bread and added a few handfuls of spinach just to get yet another vegetable into this dish and it was ready to serve. I love serving this on really crispy bread and then I'll do either a layer of like a herby cashew cheese or a thick layer of avocado. And what's great is the bread kind of absorbs some of that sauce and it just gets even more flavorful. And I serve this with a little bit of basil, some lemon juice, some tahini, all really quick and easy ways to add a lot of flavor without having to really spend any time or extra time cooking. 
And like I said, this was such a good lunch packed with plant-based protein, so flavorful and less than 15 minutes. I find myself reaching into this bag multiple times a day because it's just, it's addicting. Try it if you're a pickle fan. Hi, I spent most of the afternoon filming, so I have been filming and then cleaning up the lights and the camera and the tripod and all of that stuff because as you can see, I have a pretty small apartment, which is looking much more tidy than it was roughly five minutes ago when I had all of my equipment out, which is big and bulky and I usually just shove in the back of this one particular closet that I just keep all my filming stuff in. And so I get that put away and it just feels like all of a sudden I have so much space. So put that away and now I'm gonna actually pour myself a nice glass of wine and have a little snack before I get started with dinner and transitioning into the evening because I have a really good wine that's clean and vegan and it has a really beautiful label which you shouldn't judge a wine by the label but if you were going to this would probably be the one to do it because it's really pretty uh -huh. it's gonna sound really weird but before you pour wine into your glass go ahead and give it a smell smell okay because if it doesn't you're gonna want to wash it before you pour your wine into the glass and the reason for this is because for example I have very old cabinets in this apartment and if you smell if you like take a second to smell your glass which I know is it seems like the weirdest thing to do but it smells a lot like an old wooden cabinet and it happens so fast I just washed this a few days ago and it already smells kind of funky and that is going to affect the taste of the wine and also the smell of the wine, which is a really big part of enjoying drinking a glass of wine is that you're kind of smelling it as you're sipping it and it should be a very pleasant experience, but it's not gonna be if you've got some old cabinet funkiness on your wine or like kind of mingling with your wine. And also if your water is very heavily chlorinated or if you're using a really strong dish soap, it could also impart a smell on the glass and you're gonna wanna make sure that you wash it and that it's nice and fresh and clean before you pour wine into it. Otherwise, you're just, your wine's just not gonna be as good and it's not gonna be as pleasant. So I'm gonna wash this and then it's wine time. This is a French white blend and it has a bit of minerality to it. It has some green apple, like tart green apple, which makes it really refreshing. And it also has a very soft finish, which I think is really nice. And I think because of that, it's just kind of a like easy drinking, approachable, refreshing, summery wine. The thing I really like about the Wonderful Wine Company is that they're devoted to not only making clean wines, but also the grapes themselves are grown in a way that's very eco-friendly and very sustainable. So they're grown without fertilizers and herbicides and fungicides and all of that. But then also the bottles themselves are made from 70% recycled materials they're 100 recyclable and they're 95 compostable even the cork people don't think about the wine cork but this one is biodegradable i think it's so important to support companies that are trying to do things the right way and not necessarily just the easy way and the wonderful wine company is making a wine that is vegan friendly earth friendly and like i said it's good for us too and if you guys want to support them as well, then go ahead and check out the link in the description box. Like I said, you'll get the three wines, the red, the white, and the rosé for $60 with free shipping. And then you can have yourself a cozy little evening like I'm going to. I'm actually probably going to put a little bit of this in the pasta that I'm going to make. So you'll see that. Um, but I'm excited. I have some ravioli that I think is going to go really well with this. So cheers, guys. Dinner on this night definitely didn't feel like it only took 15 minutes because it was so delicious and the whole process was actually really cozy because I had a podcast on, I was sipping my wine, the windows were open and I was snacking on my popcorn and while I was enjoying that I just sauteed some onions in a little bit of vegan butter and I added one of my favorite summery seasonings which is Old Bay seasoning. And then I added some garlic and some white wine and this instantly makes your kitchen smell like a restaurant. That combo is just heavenly. And I added in some frozen corn and then turned off the heat so this could cool down and believe it or not, that's gonna be the basis of our sauce. Just wait, it'll look different. 
In the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to make pasta cook really quickly because what's the thing that takes so long when you're waiting for pasta? waiting for the water to boil. So instead you can put your water in an electric kettle like this one, it will heat up in one minute and that way you have boiling water in a minute and you can just add your pasta right in. It honestly saves so much time and you just feel like a genius every time you remember to do it. So definitely do that. And then if you can find a fresh pasta like these Kite Hill raviolis, they only take four minutes to cook. So again, super fast. Then I just blended up my sauce and because the corn is naturally starchy, it's gonna create a nice thick sauce. And I just thin that out a little bit with some of the pasta cooking liquid and then I add my raviolis in. And I finish this with some parsley, some basil, vegan Parmesan, and then lots of lemon juice and lemon zest and start it all together. I also added some arugula because why not? And I also like a little bit more corn in there too, just for texture. And then this is ready to go. I of course like to top mine with even more vegan Parmesan cheese and lemon zest because it's delicious and this was so, so good. My kitchen smelled good, the dinner was good, it felt really fresh and summery but also kind of special and decadent and I had it with my delicious wine and it was just, it was great, highly, highly recommend. the meals on this day took about 15 minutes but if you consider that breakfast and lunch were both meal preppable it actually was divided over three days so it was almost like five minutes a day for breakfast and lunch breakfast was overnight oats that I had prepped the night before and that only takes about five minutes and I do about three days at a time so I had three days of breakfast that took five minutes of work to prep and then just five minutes in the morning to assemble with my toppings and lunch too I ended up getting three portions of lunch out of that and it took under 15 minutes and what's great about that kind of a recipe is it's actually better the next day because all the flavors marinate and have time to kind of mingle and hang out and it just gets even better so that is a really great meal prep option and something that again is just really quick and easy there's a lot more recipe info in the description box below and that's also where you'll find a link to my Instagram my recipe blog and a link to try the wonderful wine company I love that not only are they making vegan friendly wine but it's also pretty grown and packaged in a way that is very eco-friendly as well so definitely give them a try let me know what you think hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys in a video very soon bye